Let's start with the common sense view. In this view, a stimulus prompts an emotion, which in turn prompts some bodily arousal. So in this case, a frightening spectacle fills our villain with fear, which makes him sweat and makes his heart rate rise. In the mid-1880s, two scholars, William James and Carl Lang, independently came up with similar theories that contradicted this common sense view. James and Lang both suggested that instead of emotions causing bodily arousal, bodily arousal causes emotions. So to return to our previous example, that would mean that the sight of the hero on his threshold makes our villain's heart beat faster, his hands tremble and his palms sweat, and these physiological changes cause him to feel fear. But this theory is vulnerable to a few criticisms. First, it is possible to have physiological arousal without any accompanied emotion. For instance, your palms might sweat because it's hot, but that sweat won't make you feel nervous, just kind of gross. <laughs> Second, physiological changes can be too slow to precede the conscious experience of emotion. Our villain might feel scared as soon as he sees our hero, but it might take a few seconds for him to start sweating. Third, the same set of physiological responses are associated with very different emotional experiences. A faster heart rate could mean fear, but it could also mean anger, or surprise, or joy. Finally, there is evidence that physiological feedback is not necessary for emotion. For example, patients with spinal cord injuries who have lost most of their physiological feedback still experience the same emotions as before. However, in the James Lang theory's favor, there is notably some slight evidence of dissipation in their emotional reactions.